All right, so once you've got the shadows where you want them, open a brand new layer above the shadows, turn that clip layer back on, and the same thing applies for adding light. So we're gonna be adding light now. For light, we're gonna turn the layer mode onto color, color dodge. And this is tricky. To get the, the light to where you want it, you're actually gonna use a darker color. If you use a lighter color, like what we had for the shadows, you'll get pure white and it doesn't make any sense at all why you would use it. So what you do is you go to a semi-gray and it, it basically brightens up whatever you want underneath. I'm gonna choose a darker color so that we have less of an effect. So it isn't like, you know, um, overexposed the uh, drawing. I think I like that right there. So you can also use blues, dark blues. That has an effect. That has an effect. That's a green. Green gives you this kind of result. So if you play around with it, different colors give you different results. But keep in mind, whatever color you're using corresponds to the color underneath. So if you like how it looks, uh, like this, keep in mind that if you change the, the red hair, the color of the light's gonna look different. So what I do is I keep uh, nice desaturated just black gray and I'll keep the color consistent throughout no matter what color you're using. Now I'm just gonna add some highlights for her nose, for her glasses. There are many techniques for doing highlights and hair. A simple one would be just a straightforward arc like this. Some people like a little zigzag like that. I tend to switch it around, play around with it. And I zoom out to look at it, you know, from the outside. If you have two monitors, like I do, you can actually have two windows working at the same time. You can keep working real time, zooming in and out, and the other one stays the same. So here in Manga Suda, you go to Window, Canvas, and New Window, like that. And now you have two windows for the same drawing, and whatever you're doing to one drawing will affect the other drawing exactly the same way. So I'm going to take this drawing here and I'm going to move it over here to my other window. Continue adding the highlights. I do have a, a video where I teach you how to do light and shadow. Um, I, I basically color a ball and it shows you where the lights uh, are placed. And if you can think of everything as just a, a ball in, in space where light hits a certain point, you'll understand how it works. Okay, and now you can basically call it done, but I like to do one last touch. Turn that clip layer on, grab your spray tool. If you're using Photoshop, you wanna use a brush that looks like this, like a soft round brush. Expand that brush size, and with that same highlight tool, like that. <laughs> that didn't make sense, yeah? Because I didn't turn on the dodge the color dodge, of course. So turn on the color dodge, and with that black brush, just paint it in. Softly, softly. Give us kind of a gradiated effect to where the light hits, and also areas where it's giving me some reflected light. Basically, we have light coming from the top as well as underneath. All right, now if I turn it off, this is what we got. Again, it's starting to look a little washed out in some areas. Like if you look at this spot here, it gets like shot up too much. So what we do is we'll erase it. By erasing it, we'll basically use that same brush or spray can and click um, transparent mode. So instead of painting in color, it paints it out. All right, let me throw in one last little little thingy thing here. I don't normally do, well I haven't been doing because 
I don't think it was appropriate for the for the, the piece. But for this one, I think it'll look nice. So I'm just gonna use the pen tool, set it to color dodge, and this would be our really reflected kind of rim, rim light effect. We're gonna use kind of a lighter gray, not super light. See, that's gonna make it white, and we don't want shadow area to be lighter than skin area. So this works around there. I'm gonna hit the edge. So this will be placed opposite from the light, from where the light's hitting. So it's hitting here really strong in this direction, and then everything on the right side will be just on the edge, catching that uh, rim light. I'm going to take that spray brush, turn on the transparency, and just lightly take it out. Lightly take it out. Lightly take it out. Lightly take it out. Let's see here. I want I want her to pop. Right now, her hair is looking too uniform with uh, the colors. So again, we have all the colors separate, and we can just modify the colors by hitting Command U. The hair and working with different color schemes. So I'm gonna be doing more versions of this on my own, out away from the camera, but uh, this would be just your straightforward standard color, my, my first attempt at coloring her. And that just about does it. And also, if this video helped you guys, please subscribe, or like or comment, uh, leave questions, I'll try my best to get to them. And as always, don't be discouraged, keep drawing. I've been there just like every one of you guys, um, looking at videos and drawings like this and saying, how? How can I get that good or how can I draw like that? I've been there. I've said that, okay? Trust me. Okay? So thanks for watching you guys. I'm Jet, your host. Peace out.